Hello, fourth year. Today's lecture is going to be a fun one. It's about idioms and phrasal verbs. So let's kick it off. Idioms exist in every language. They're words or phrases that aren't meant to be taken literally. They also make a language interesting and dynamic, bringing spectacular illustration to everyday speech. Now let's look at the working definition of idioms and phrasal verbs. An idiom is a phrase, saying, or a group of words that has a metaphorical meaning, which has become accepted in common usage. Idioms are the building blocks of a language and civilization. On the other hand, phrasal verbs combine a base verb with another word, usually a preposition or adverb known as a participle, to create a whole new meaning. They're common in English language, but interestingly, we don't use them as much when we write or in formal communication. In English language alone, there are an estimated 2,500 idiomatic expressions. For now, let's just explore some of them. The first one would be break the ice. To break the ice is to do or say something that makes people less shy or nervous or embarrassed. Next one would be put on ice. To put something on ice means to delay or to postpone it. Third one would be snowed under. To be snowed under is to have too much work to do. Next one would be to have a snowball's chance in hell which means to have no chance of doing or having something. Next one would be to get cold feet. Cold feet means suddenly getting too scared to do something that is planned. Then comes pure as the driven snow, which means to be completely innocent. And then comes to break into a cold sweat, which again means to become scared about something. Other than that, there can be many other idiomatic expressions such as getting along with, oddball, knee-jerk reaction, hang in there, so far so good, curiosity killed the cat, last straw, elbow grease, old as the hills, see eye to eye, and many more. Next we have some of the examples of the phrasal verbs, so let's go through them one by one. Number one is ask for, which means request. Number two is backup, which means to copy data as a security measure. Number three is blow up, which means to explode or to be destroyed by explosion. Next one is break off, which means to end a relationship. Next is break out, which means to escape. Then comes break up, which means break or separate into pieces. Then comes bring about, which means causes to take place. Then comes bring along, which means to bring something or someone to a certain place. Then comes bring back, which means to return something. Then comes bring down, which means to reduce. And then comes bring in, which means to move something indoors. And just like that, there are so many other phrasal verbs, such as fill out, fill up, get back, get down, get in, come across, come along, come apart, come back, and come on. Please read through their meanings. And now comes the fun part. Guess the idiomatic expressions with the given illustrations. Take a close look at the three images, image A, image B, and image C, and try to decipher the idiomatic expression hidden in them. So let's see, have you guessed it right? In image A, the idiomatic expression hidden is let your mind wander, which means to give free reins to your mind. The image B speaks of playing with fire, which means to take undue risk. Image C speaks of raining cats and dogs, which means to rain profusely. And to wrap it all up, the key to understanding English idioms is never to look at them or read them in a literal sense. The words just won't make sense together. Instead, you need to learn them in context so you can understand their true meaning. As for the phrasal verbs, take a close look at the whole sentence construction and see if the verb and the preposition can be taken or understood literally. If they can be, you have a verb and a preposition. But if they have to be taken together to add meaning to the context, then it's a phrasal verb. At the end of the lecture, I would urge you to go through all the idiomatic expressions and phrasal verbs in your book and try to understand and memorize them. And while you're at it, break a leg. And don't take that too literally. <laughs>